Hey there, Jerry Audette, Managing Editor, Surfcasters Journal, your source for surf fishing information here at Saltwater Edge in Newport, Rhode Island. Got a new product for you here, very excited about this one. Before I talk about the new Sims Splashcast Surf Top, I'm gonna show you my old one. This is my old Sims Surf Top. Um, I believe this is circa 2010 or 11. I think I purchased it uh, left over in 2012. This is the last surf top they did before they reintroduced this one. Um, this was a, a game changer for us in the surf. Uh, some of people still call this the greatest. They still say it's one of the best ever, if not the best ever. Uh, it was a great surf top. Very light, very breathable, very waterproof, very durable. Again, this thing is you know, going on 13, 14, 15 years old at this point um, and still going strong. I mean, it's, you know, it's got some wear and stuff and the zipper's been broken, but this thing was really good. But it had its issues. I didn't love the neck. A lot of other people didn't love the neck. It was kind of high and kind of bothersome. People would cut it, but then you used to get the durability issues. The zippers would fail. It doesn't have a hood. It doesn't have a hood and that was one of the the big problems with it, but it was one of the best products. And you could see, again, it's, it's old. I still have it. I don't wear it anymore, but I held on to it because I just loved it so much. Well, now, this year, they've, re they've reintroduced a surf top. They call it the Splash Cast. Um, it's really marketed at a variety of different anglers, not just surf anglers, but you surf anglers are going to pay attention to this in particular. But again, kayakers would like this. Boat anglers are like this. There's definitely a place for this with freshwater anglers as well, for sure. Um, this is better than I expected, and I had high expectations. I'm gonna lead with that. It is a very, very high quality product. Um, the durability of the uh, materials is increased without question. Um, I don't have more than maybe 10, 12 trips in this so far, but I'm telling you already, it's. It's, ph it's phenomenal. This is a very rugged material. It's very similar to their guide series jackets, those kinds of things. Um, very, very good. Um, it's got sealable uh, neoprene cuffs. It's got a sealable neoprene waist, okay? All the things you would expect from a surf top, but it's got some awesome other features. So let's start up here. First off, it's got a gigantic hood. Uh, this hood you could put over a helmet. Uh, you could be wearing like a kayaking helmet and you could put this right over the top of it. <clears throat> so any fear of having it over the top of a hat, headlamp, any of that stuff, no problem. It really feels very similar to being in like a shelter when you have it on. It's, it's over your head, it's completely encompassing. When you're out in the rain, which I had uh, an opportunity to test this in just an absolute deluge, just torrential downpour one night, you can cinch up the neck, cinch down the hood, and essentially all that's sticking out is your eyes. It, it, it's phenomenal. Now, one of the cool things associated with the helmet though is that because it has a double neck, which I'll get to in a second, there's actually drains in the inside here where the water can get out. So that if the water gets in, it can get back out, which is such a cool feature. Um, for those people who are um, uh, swimming or something like that and worried about getting uh, water down inside the two necks, it, it can actually come out, which is just amazing. Like that's a really good feature that, you know, sort of uh, a detail they paid attention to. The hood can be cinched down. It can be Velcroed back. So it's got a little bit of Velcro. You can Velcro it back. Okay, so this is the one of the really cool things about the top. It opens up, okay? So you can open this up if you're hot or whatever. And inside it still has a fully, you know, gasket waterproof uh, neck here. So it's got an inside and an outside, an interior and exterior. So this is really for when it's, you know, it's blowing, it's cold, it's rainy. This is more for preventing you from getting hit by a wave or something. If it's, I really, really like this. Uh, I wasn't sure how I would find it, you know, after coming from something with a single neck or the Stormer surf top, which I really like, but uh, I really, really liked this feature. I really appreciate it and, and, and I feel like it shows a lot of thought and it really applies right to a surf guys, which we don't, really get a lot of products that are right for us. So I really like that. Other things I really like about it is this front pocket is awesome. Um, this front pocket is almost like a giant Ziploc. So it uh, doesn't have interlocking like this. It looks like a giant Ziploc bag. Um, it's really tight. It slides across real nice and it has a little locking mechanism. 
at the end, which keeps it from opening up. This is allegedly truly waterproof. Um, as with any surf top, I would take that with a grain of salt. I'm always a little bit leery. I don't, I wouldn't be putting my phone in there. I, I, I wouldn't suggest that. But hypothetically, that's what it's designed for to be, to be totally waterproof. Um, it's really honestly designed for cooler temperatures, in my opinion. I wouldn't be using this if it was even something like 75 degrees um, and the water was warm or something or you had to hike far. It's a rugged, you know, durable, but that makes it a little bit warm top. Um, it's really more of a, you know, spring and fall, not so much a summer top. Uh, I have worn this particular size uh, with as little as just a t-shirt over the top of my waders, but I've also worn it with a thin down layer, uh, polar fleece, multiple wool layers, etc. cetera. Um, you can, it's really uh, comfortable either way. So you can wear a little bit with it, you can layer underneath it, and I found both ways. It wasn't very cumbersome. The cut is good. As with a lot of Sim stuff, it's a little bit more of an athletic cut, but I think it would fit any body type. Um, it's just a fantastic top, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, again, I've, you know, I've been using it enough that I'm, I'm really, really excited about getting a full season with it but I expect this to stand up again for a decade just the way that this old surf top did as well.